Hello everyone, today I'm filming this beautiful Crotalus Teresus Unicolor with my L70D so the um, quality of the image would be different unfortunately the lighting is not the best um, and she is actually much prettier than how she looks like and a lot more lighter but the image quality would be nicer I think so Let's see her feed. I think we got the strike very well, which I'm planning to do a slow motion on anyway. Now let's see if we can watch her feed. She's obviously seeing me and the giant camera looking at her face. But I think it's gonna be okay. The people who follow my channel or people who are into snakes will know that um, this snake is a member of an endangered species Crotolus drusus unicolor from the Aruba island oh that was very nice I think that footage is just amazing I'm glad we got that alright uh, hopefully that was in focus anyway she comes from Aruba Island and unfortunately due to intense development there their numbers are dwindling and in captive collections we have only a few so the snakes that we keep are unfortunately highly inbred Oh, that's just amazing. Great. I'm, I'm glad that I zoomed in a little bit more. All right. Uh, what the snake is doing, by the way, is rearranging her um, lower jaw because they have the capability of basically removing their jaw from its hinges and they rearrange it after they you know bite prey or they swallow prey so this is what we are seeing right now Sorry, I cannot move my camera higher up. So we'll see her beautiful colors instead of her face for now. Um, my tripod goes only as high as it is now. But uh, she's gonna get into the frame again to eat. That's how I place the mouse. So it's gonna be okay. Again, some more info on the snake. Um, it's a rattlesnake, obviously, so it's a pit viper. Um, again, for those who are not extremely experienced or knowledgeable about snakes, uh, pit vipers are venomous snakes with uh, a basically two holes on their faces that looks like a second set of nostrils and they are for sensing heat they have special sensors inside that helps them to sense heat signature from prey items basically 
and that's how they lock onto their prey and they can even uh, follow the movements of the prey in complete darkness of course they have the wonderful scent mechanism as well for them to find where their prey is so it's sort of a double mechanism for them to hunt he's coming back hopefully to feed but I think my presence is you know slightly scary for her um, we got to the we got over the barrier we got some nice yawning shots today anyway we got over the barrier with her and she is comfortable enough to eat in my presence but You know, it's still a challenge for the snake to forego the issue of having a predator-like animal close by when he wants to feed. But, when she wants to feed, sorry. But I think she's gonna go for it now. Yep. Again, keeping the animal in zoom with a camera like this, which is built mainly for taking pictures, um, photographs, is more difficult, but it has a sort of auto follow option that I try to use. Still, it's a bit tough to keep things in focus. So sorry about that guys, again in a picture that moves so much, it's not easy for the camera to keep the snake in focus. But I think she's finally gonna eat. There we go. Well, almost. She's just taking her time. There we are. I will try to zoom in. And you can obviously hear the rattle. You know, it's the photographer's plea, but I wish I had more light here, really. I mean, she just looks spectacular in real life. Quite dark in the picture. But I'm gonna zoom in the tail now. Look at that tail, guys. The pattern is completely gone and it's blue and white. It's uh, so nice. All right. 
again we can hear the rattle because she sees me uh, moving around trying to film her and she is warning me with her rattle that she is here she's present and she's dangerous just gonna focus on the rattle really quickly maybe we can s no camera cannot do that for now but you can see the rattle on the side out of focus shaking rattlesnakes evolved this way because they would basically warn off large animals like the American buffalo um, and let them know that they are present however um, with the humans arrival this became to their disadvantage because humans the assholes we are when we hear a snake rattling the first reaction is to kill it so the ones that rattle are dying faster than the ones that do not rattle which means over time rattlesnakes will stop rattling if we keep killing the ones that rattle obviously so this is selection but it's not natural anymore it's completely artificial created by humans Okay, we're just over 12 minutes of footage and she's still continuing to eat. And we are still focusing on her face. The eye is the easy one to pick for the camera, so it's mainly focusing the eye. Sorry for that guys, really quickly. I'm trying to catch the best picture, so sometimes the camera just moves a bit. But I don't think we are doing bad so far. As I mentioned, you can see the holes that are right under the nostrils on the face. Those are the pits where the pit wiper gets its name from. And those have the heat sensing cells in them. And actually I have tried this. I have uh, moved uh, mice in front of him. And when the uh, mouse was cold, not much movement from the snake, and the mouse was hot, the snake was very alert. So I did my, you know, sort of a small experiment by myself. And it was an interesting thing to see, really. 
So this is basically a second set of eyes for them, which is very advantageous. That's why pit vipers are quite successful, both in the old world and in the new world. And so are pythons. Pythons also have heat sensing pits. Alright, maybe we can get another yawn from her, I'm hoping. So I zoomed in the maximum I could. Vipers, especially pit vipers, they have this <laughs> beautiful face. This, you know, to humans it looks evil, really. I understand why people are actually scared of snakes. It has a very, very unique, very reptilian look. Come on girl, give us another yawn, maybe. She's looking directly at the camera, by the way. Yes, that's what we want. Beautiful. Alright guys, um, this ended up being a long video. I think it has great footage and I'm, I think you're gonna like it. But um, I think it's time to cut it now. Filming on you now high level HD, it's probably gonna be a very big file to upload to YouTube already. Uh, but I truly enjoyed it and I hope you will as well. Take care. Bye.